Hello everybody, Raging Donuts on and welcome back to another tutorial video. Today I have a short video for you guys where I want to talk about a new mod loader for 1.14. Since Forge is quite slow at updating to the newer versions of Minecraft, in fact it hasn't even been updated fully or there hasn't come a stable version of it for 1.13 yet, people are creating their own light mod loaders. And keep in mind all these mod loaders uh, like Rift and Fabric. So Rift was for 1.13 and Fabric has now come out for 1.14. These are still very unstable which means there will likely be bugs and crashes and they will be changing over time so a lot of mods probably won't keep working on it until uh, unless the mod loader keeps working on it. But uh, that aside I'll show you guys how to install it. It is very easy if you're familiar with installing things onto your Microsoft profile this will not be very different. So first thing you have to do is go to the website. As usual, link will be in the description of the video, fabric.az.pl. And once you're here, you can go up to the top here and you can press on the use button. And then if you're using MultiMC, you can press here, but I'm going to show you guys how to install it onto your vanilla client. So that is just your default Minecraft launcher. So make sure the newest version is uh, picked and then you can either, either choose the Windows uh, installation or the download installer. I'm just going to download the installer because this is the default jar version that will work on Linux, Mac and Windows. So once that is downloaded, go ahead and drag that onto your desktop or anywhere you want. Right click and press open just like that. And what that should come up with is a window like this. So again, these should all be set to the newest versions. You can choose to set this to an older snapshot if you're playing on a server with your friends. That's not updated to the newest snapshot. And then the loader version will also be set to the newest one. Your installation option, that is also that is where you've got Minecraft installed. So if you don't have Minecraft installed in the default location, you can change this. But for most people, it will remain just normal like that. Create profile, that will create an in a profile in your Minecraft launcher. So when you click the arrow button, you will see a profile that you can choose without having to manually do that. So again, go ahead and press install, and that should be installed really quickly. And if you open up your Minecraft, you should now see right here, it says fabric loader, something, something, whatever your settings are. If it does not show up here, it should be in this menu here. And if it still isn't, go to your launch options, add new, and then scroll down until you see it. So it is right there. But since I have it, I can just go ahead and go click on this. If you have never installed any sort of mod loader on your Minecraft before, you'll have to run it once just to get all the directories installed. But if you already run something like Forge or Rift before, you won't need to do that technically. You can just go down to your search bar, type uh, percentage app data percentage, hit enter, and that will open up your roaming folder and then go to your dot micro folder. And then you should see the mods folder here. Click on that. And of course, that is where you'll be putting all your 1.14 mods. You can see currently these are some 1.13 mods I have been running just like that. And currently, if you want to find some 1.14 mods, I recommend going to the Curse Forge website and then going to game version and selecting 1.14 and you'll be see there are tons and tons of mods being developed all the way up to eight pages. So this may be a lot to sort through, but you guys can have a look at all these mods and find out which ones uh, work for you, which ones are your favorite. Uh, but if you guys don't want to do that, I am currently working on another top five mods video this time for 1.14. So you guys can look forward to that. Well guys, that's been all for this video. I hope you guys found it useful and if you enjoyed it, you can go ahead and like the video or subscribe if you're not already done that. And actually, I want to do something different. Since I'm making so much different Minecraft content, I want you guys to vote on the poll in this video of, of what kind of video you want me to make next. So the poll or the option that gets the most votes, that is the kind of video I will make for the next video. So yeah, I hope you guys do that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.